All right, what I got going on here is I got to turn this piece down to uh, about an eighth of an inch, give or take a thousandth. Um, it's a tricky bit of turning because it's so long and so skinny. Um, so what I'm doing is turning it in steps. I wanted to keep it between centers so I had to come back here I had to leave this end big so I could fit my center have room for my center and I just started at this end and started whittling it down I wish I had a smaller piece to start with but this was all I had was this 5 8 so I had to take quite a bit off of it and uh, I started at this end and whittled down just a narrow you know just about wide enough to get my mic in there and measure it then moved down took another small small area and I'm just working my way back like that um, just a little bit at a time it's it's slow going takes a lot of time but it's the only way I could figure that I could do this and keep it you know somewhat true and even doing it like this I'm getting a lot of flex in this area here just simply from the the pressure on the center uh, you know I'm managing to keep it you know within a thousandth or so from one section to the next or a thousandth or less you know so it's not it's not too bad and you know I'm just gonna get it close and then I'll polish it down to my final size and you know try to even it all up and everything but uh, you know it's it not much to show just some basic turning but uh, I'll show a few passes here on this next step and uh, we'll go from there
right there I'm dead nuts 125 thousandths so that's good because my my finished size is just a hair under 125 so uh, that's pretty much the process I'll finish getting this thing turned the rest of the way down and uh, come back and pick up from there this thing turned down and polished I cut it off of the main piece of stock and turned it around as you can see you got a real nice sliding fit in this piece which is what I want slides real nice so the only thing left to do is to cut this thing to length and that'll be done so I gotta do a little bit of math here figure out exactly how long I need it we'll cut it off and this piece will be done this thing 1.64 inches which is gonna be right in here okay I think what I'm going to do I'm going to cut it off of this piece back here against the back and then I'll chuck it in here and I'll cut it to length start to see now maybe a little better what this thing's gonna how this is gonna work uh, this rod this pin basically just guides the sight there'll be a threaded piece that runs through this adjustment nut and we'll use this drill bit just uh, kind of to show you there'll be a short piece on this side that just connects the screw and this pin together and then there'll be a long piece over here on this side that connects these together and then this piece will stick on up here and the actual eyepiece for the sight 
will ride up and down on this piece and there'll be an adjustment screw on it that runs it up and down so basically the next piece I need to make is this screw now I made I already showed I made this jam nut to go there to lock that windage adjustment once you get it adjusted but that's going to it's I, I don't like it um, because it's going to cut down the amount of windage adjustment I've got on this side so what I'm going to do instead I'm going to come in and drill and tap a little hole right here and just put a little brass thumb screw in there so when you get that adjusted you just tighten that up it'll tighten down against this pin and then it won't go anywhere and then I'll have my full range of adjustment on both sides so that's where we're at on it thanks for watching uh, be sure to hit like subscribe leave me a comment and uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time